Hey guys, it's Sam, and I'm going to be doing another Imperfect Produce box. I feel like I said, or I know I said in the last video that probably would be the last one, but I got a few new things that I want to share with you that I'm pretty excited about, and it was here, and I have the time, and I don't, I'm not wearing my PJ, so I thought I would film another Imperfect Produce box video so the first thing i have is are these california red seedless grapes i tried one so good and i say that i make a point of like making a big deal out of it because i have not been the happiest with their fruit especially their nectarines and peaches they've just not been that great they don't taste that good and so i've stopped getting those but I thought I would try the grapes, and they are really good. So I would definitely get that again. Next are the tomatoes, and I actually had to throw away. So I had gotten three tomatoes last time, and I had to throw one away because it just went so fast. Um, it got really mushy, and I, I dropped it, and it's like burst, so I had to throw it away. But I did get these three. Um, they it came in th a three count. And these are, uh, I believe they said Roma tomatoes. And I've been really enjoying tomatoes larger than grape or um, cherry tomatoes this summer. So I just got these because they look good. And they're harder than the other ones. The other ones were soft already from last week. So I'm going to enjoy those in salads or sandwiches. Next, we have this Humongo carrot. And that's kind of a theme in this video. Last week's carrots were really thin and scrawny and I just, I didn't really like them, but they, no, they tasted fine after I used them, but I just, I like these kind of like beefy carrots. So got those. I believe there's a few of those in there. Next we have these avocados. I have two and I have to say, I love this size, smaller than my palm. And I feel like the bigger ones are, I don't know. I, so I usually only eat a half and then the other half goes to waste and like you have to do the like uh, put lemon over it or lime so it doesn't go brown and it's just a big to do. Um, so I love this. I feel like I can eat this one without having to like save the other one. Am I sounding crazy right now? I don't know. Uh, then I got butter lettuce. I should have known better than to get some lettuce because last time i was so disappointed the leaf lettuce it was like the purple and the green one it just went so quickly it was not good and i felt like just the quality wasn't there but i think underneath here there's something good in here i do like butter lettuce it's soft and it's just a nice lettuce I've gotta use that this week this weekend i don't know today's thursday so i have to use it by this weekend because i don't think it's gonna last very long and then Humongo, right? Gigantic. This is ginormous. Look at this cucumber compared to my face. It's huge. I mean, I love it. It's gonna make make a nice salad. I've been still obsessed with making the Szechuan style cucumber salad where you put a little bit of salt on top and then you put rice wine vinegar and sesame oil, a little bit of salt. Oh wait, I already said that. No more salt, just the salt that I mentioned at the beginning. And then I like to use white pepper instead of black pepper because I feel like it's just a softer kind of, it's not harsh and it doesn't fight with the other flavors in there. Um, yeah, I've been totally enjoying that. So got some more cucumbers. And then, so this is one of the items. It came in this kind of like freezer type of bag and there is a dry ice pack in there that is melting. Um, <laughs> So here is, this is Nature's Yolk Organic Grade A 12 Egg Medium. Usually I get organic eggs. I've been getting it um, for the past several months now. And I usually get large, but the price was really good for these. So I got two of them. The eggs were perfect. This is, now this gets, keep in mind, this gets delivered to me in a truck or a van. I've never seen the guy actually. Um, but these perfect condition the other ones too and I'm really happy we go through eggs like we go through water here it, we use it for we use it all the time I use it even for um when I uh what do you do that when I make like chicken cutlet I'll dip it into the um egg and then I'll put it into the breadcrumbs you know I use it all the time even for fish I will dip it into egg and then put it flour so eggs 
we use it for we use it for everything so got more eggs and then this is the last thing i'm gonna share with you this is also something new uh it is the califia farms unsweetened oat milk and this was also a great price i feel like these dairy-free milks that are like almond soy coconut i feel like they're kind of pricey at the grocery store and this, the price wasn't that bad either so i got this and got it delivered so amazing i'm kind of happy about this order not too big um but everything looks okay except for the this is sad sad lettuce but i'll remember to um not get that again but it's been really fun i have enjoyed this and i say that every box oh i'm just gonna maybe i'll skip next week or something like that but when i go to customize it's so much fun and it also does give me ideas about menu planning and what i want to make for the following week but I do have to say I don't rely on this solely as my grocery shopping because it doesn't have everything that I need or what my family likes. So I do have to go to the grocery store, but it kind of, let's say I'm planning my menu, then I maybe I could get most of the things and I'll use my pantry. It's a great supplement. So um, I do enjoy it and I'm not going to say I won't make another video because that's what I said last time and look at me making another video. So, um, oh, so... <laughs> I've been really trying and okay I'm going to go I hope you guys are doing well let me know if you use if you get imperfect produce or something similar and what your opinions are are on it and I'll talk to you soon bye